Hey, you guys. Happy Wednesday evening. There's my son back there going, hi there. Um, anyway, uh, hi. I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been reading a little bit about, and um, it's pretty fascinating to me because I'm rather obsessed with mindset <laughs> and changing mindset, you know, based on what's going on in your life and how mindset can be such a um, game changer, you know? Um, and so something that I was reading about yesterday that really hit me said that you can overcome a defeatist mindset, but not until you decide that you're going to succeed. So whatever it is that you have going on in your life that you're having trouble and feeling defeated about, if you decide in your mind and you truly believe it, hey, Deanne, that you can succeed, <clears throat> you're going to defeat that defeatist mindset. And that's pretty stinking cool because it doesn't take something huge happening. It doesn't take a, um, a big event. It doesn't take a big, like, big thing happening. It just is in your mind. And all you have to do is talk to yourself and tell yourself that you are going to succeed. And then that mindset changes the defeatist. And boy, does it make a difference. I've been going through a couple of things in my life where I've recently decided, you know what? I'm not going to let that defeat me, and I'm going to succeed at this. And it is, it's mindset. It's not ability. It's nothing else. It's mindset. Hey, Miss Julie. Um, and, and, and so a corollary to that is what you believe is what happens. So if you go into something, and I experience this with my horses all the time, if you go into something expecting it to be bad, then guess what? It's going to be bad. <laughs> so if you plan for bad things, then they're going to happen. <laughs> but the opposite of that is if you plan for success, guess what's going to happen? Oh, yeah, that's right, success. So, like, here's an example. So with horses, if, you know, when you're riding a horse, you kind of have to only be thinking about riding a horse at the time because if you think about something else, the chances that you're going to fall off or make a big mistake are pretty good. So you really have to focus on what you're doing. Therefore, if you sit there and you're like, okay, well, today's a jumping lesson and I don't know how it's going to go, but all this might happen. Maybe this will happen. Maybe the horse will rush. Maybe I'll lose my balance. Maybe I'll fall forward. Maybe I'll fall off, you know. What if you don't think about those things? What if you just say, hey, today's a jumping I did this today. I said, hey, I know I'm going to jump today, and I'm not going to suck at it. <laughs> and guess what happened? I didn't suck. Um, and I know that when I've set myself up for failure by saying I'm nervous about jumping today or I'm nervous about this or I'm nervous about that, and then I get nervous, and then I don't do well, usually because my horse feels the nervousness. Hey, Angela. Um, so, you know, if you set yourself up for defeat, you're going to get defeated. But if you set yourself up for success, that's what's going to happen. So whatever you believe is what's going to happen. And I think that's pretty cool because that, Missy Barrett, is in your mind. That is something you can change. That is self-talk that you can change for yourself. So cool. Okay. Um, so defeat is a mentality. Success is, well, I talked about that already. Okay, forget it. Hmm. Moving on. Um, what you need to do in order to get over that defeatist mentality is commit to living differently on a daily basis, okay? Not just, okay, today I'm going to commit to live differently for the rest of my life and then not commit to it daily. You've got to wake up and you have to say, okay, today is going to be great and here are the things I'm going to succeed at. And if you fail, great. Awesome. And we call that failing forward. So you keep moving forward. You keep moving forward away from the success and away from the defeat and towards the success again the next day. So, and eventually you start to live a life that looks like success. It's pretty stinking cool. Um, I work with a lot of people who are trying to change life habits and life habits are hard to change because you know, we're of an age, okay? We're in our 40s and 50s and 60s, and we've lived this way for a really long time, and it's hard to change your habits. It's hard to change your lifestyle. And if you can win that lifestyle change, oh my gosh, can you even believe the things that you can do? So I work with a lot of people who... Um, 
are working on changing their lifestyle. And there are definitely days where that lifestyle change goes down the tubes. Maybe we're super busy. Maybe we didn't have time to plan ahead. And that happens. And that's okay because that, again, is that failing forward. And it doesn't change your mindset. So one little failure in the line of success does not make you a failure. Failures, f failure is for people who quit. So you succeed by moving forward, and that is so cool. So I just wanted to share that with you because it was important to me, and it hit me really hard when I was reading about it yesterday. And I also wanted to tell you all that we, thanks, Angela, um, that we work together in our accountability groups to change these mindsets, to change the way we think about ourselves and the way that we think about what we look like, you know, and, and not what you look like. Change the way you think about what you look like. So when you look in the mirror, you can look at yourself and say, I'm succeeding today and I'm cute <laughs> no matter what, right? Um, so there, that's something we work on a lot. We work on mindset change because that is how you succeed. You succeed by getting rid, hey Kim, of the defeatist mindset and replacing it with success. So wake up every morning and know the things that you're going to win for the day and tell yourself, I'm going to win today and here's how I'm going to do it every single day. You guys, if you change that in your life, you're going to change a whole lot for yourself. Have a fabulous evening.